I was told by um, several people, you know, you really should start showing up in DC mid January or mid June. This is a big decision, and typically they hold off on those decisions until the end of the term. But they said start showing up in mid June just to be there. So starting June fifteenth, I was in DC for every decision day, and at that point we all thought, well, Monday June 29th, because they had only they had scheduled only decision days on Mondays. So we thought Monday, June 29th, that's likely when it'll happen. And the week of the 22nd, I was there on Monday, and that was the day they then announced, well, we're gonna, have, we're gonna release decisions later this week on Thursday. And then they also added Friday. And that was when we all started to think, wait, Friday, June 26th, that's a somewhat important date for the gay rights movement. So we all started to think it, it, it's going to be on Friday. So that morning I got to the Supreme Court, took my place in line, and you know, I was just in the public line with 50 or 60 other people who were there to be in the courtroom. And the atmosphere that morning was vastly different than every other morning. It was lighter, it was looser, it was happier. And I think it was because most of us in that line thought June 26th, we think this is a sign. People seemed happier and more, more upbeat. And then the other really amazing thing, every time I'd been in court, standing in that public line, when they hand out the tickets for the public spectators, every time we'd been in line for oral arguments for other decision days, those tickets were bright orange. That morning they handed out the tickets, the police officer handed them out, and we're all still just chatting. And I looked down at the ticket and I noticed something that nobody else had remarked on and I held up the ticket and said, do you guys notice something different? The tickets that day were lavender. <laughs> what better sign that Because they had been good orange, good. right? They'd they been had been orange been, yeah. every single other time. That morning they were lavender. So we all took maybe it a as sign. maybe a sign. <laughs> Okay, so uh, were you inside? I was inside. So after standing in line, getting the tickets, then they let all of us into the courthouse where you just have to kill some time, time standing in line some more. And then we entered the courtroom and were seated. And the proceeding started, and the Chief Justice said, Justice Kennedy will read the first decision. And they read the case number, and I'd only finally memorized it the day before. And when that case number came out, I jumped in my seat. I know I squeaked, I made some kind of a noise. And I was sitting between friends and I grabbed their hands and I'm happy to report they still have all of their fingers. And Justice Kennedy started to read his decision and my first reaction was, we won. Well, I think we did. He read some more, I thought we won. Well, I'm not really positive yet. And then it sunk in that we did actually win. And I just burst into tears. And all around that courtroom, you could hear and see people crying. And there was this amazing electric feeling of joy and happiness. And for me, there was this wonderful moment of, perhaps for the first time in my adult life, first time in my adult life of being honest with myself about who I am and honest with others, in that part of my life, it was the first time I felt truly like an American. To hear a Supreme Court justice say, you know what, John and Jim, Joe and Rob, they're here, also plaintiffs, and their wonderful son, Cooper. Um, Kelly and Kelly, Pam and Nicole, all of the other plaintiffs in this case, there were more than 30, you all do matter. Your relationships matter. Your children matter. I felt like part of we the people. I felt more an American in that moment than I ever had in my adult life.